Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, my name is Julia Johnson, welcome. Um, today's video I'm going to be stripping my comforter. We have a white comforter, don't ask me why. <laughs> um, just kidding, I love the white look, I love the just kind of like fresh look, the very bright, um, but we do have two dogs. They're much worse than the children at keeping it white, and it rained a lot this last week, so they got muddy paws ran in jumped on the bed like four times so there's just kind of dirt I've like kind of wiped it off but there's just dirt all over it and I've thrown it in the washing machine so many times and I'll probably ha I will do that at the end too but I would love to just not keep using the stain remover on it to get the dirt off I just want to strip it in the bathtub and see how that does I've never done it for a comforter so we'll try it and see how that goes um, but anyway if you are new to that basically you're just putting it in really hot water with a few um, other things like borax and um, detergent some stuff like that so I'll show you guys very simple but you basically leave it in there for about four to five hours let it completely cool and everything just kind of lifts out the water looks disgusting afterwards it's super satisfying um, but it basically just kind of like restores the fabric it gets out any like dirt and gross stuff like grime and stuff like that but it also gets out like any detergents or anything that is just kind of like stuck in the fabric so it makes it softer it makes it cleaner so I just like to do that periodically and I thought this would be a great thing to try it with so we're gonna see how it does but anyway if that interests you definitely keep on watching Okay, me again before we get started if you are new please go hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it it's totally free for you guys it really helps me out and I'd love for you to join in on my channel family also be sure and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it um, that helps me out as well and then comment down below if you're new I would love to tell you hello I always respond back and um, yeah let's get going okay so let me just get a close-up and show you guys how dingy this looks <laughs> I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera but it's pretty gross it's just seriously they've just trampled on it all week with dirt and yep so we're gonna see if we can get that off um look there's just a nice lovely that's the worst one for sure look at that just like stepped on it walked and yeah lovely little paw print distorted paw print something I don't know but anyway we need to get that off so let's just see if soaking it works really well or not I don't know I usually do it just to make towels and things softer so I haven't really done it on something that's been like super like staining look type of thing we'll see we'll see how it works okay so I start out by filling the bathtub with very very hot water not lukewarm not warm extremely hot as hot as you can get it water <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get that filled and I'll show you what else I put in there. Okay, so now I'm going to add a quarter cup of borax. Just kind of evenly distribute that in there. And then a quarter cup of baking soda. Again, evenly throw it in there. And then I'm going to do a half cup, so I'll do this twice, of detergent powder detergent and so I like to use the tide free and gentle um, tide is supposed to have a lifting agent that's really good for stuff like this and I have to do the free and gentle because of allergies and things like that so that is my preferred detergent okay I'm gonna let that continue to fill um, I'm gonna try to swish it around a tiny bit, but it's obviously very hot, so I'm just gonna kind of use my cup. That's why I like to just kind of spread it out as I pour it in, so I don't have to swish it that much. But just to kind of get it everywhere, let that get a little bit fuller, and then I'll add my items. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in while it's still filling up because um, I don't want it to like overflow or something since it's a really big item. So just putting that in there I'm also going to throw in these little white pillow shams and yeah let me get that submerged I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want 
Won't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Now that it is all in there, I'm going to set a timer for about two hours just to come back and look at the water, but I kind of feel like it's already changed colors a little bit. It's been about 10 minutes, so that's kind of gross. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Very excited and curious. We are just over the two hour mark and it definitely has changed colors. It's brown. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit more intense back there for whatever reason. Um, I'm guessing that's just kind of where everything is decided to pull up, but I'm excited because it looks like it's getting out dirt, so that's very exciting. But anyway, I'm going to kind of swish it around a little bit just to kind of even it out since it's a really big item, and then I'm going to let it sit for a couple more hours. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you okay, I wanted to show you again after swishing it around because I feel like you can really see how dark the water is. It looks real gross, but the comforter is looking a lot wider, um, so that's exciting. But yeah, I just kind of swished it around, like I said, because it's a big item to make sure everything is like completely submerged and all of the areas are getting the same amount of treatment. You're supposed to leave it in here until it is completely cool. It's not hot anymore, but it is still pretty warm, so I'm just going to let it sit some more. I think two hours would be pretty perfect, so um, it'll be a total of four hours. Yep, so I'm going to set the timer again, and I'll let you know in two hours what it looks like. It has been four hours, uh, about four and a half actually, but it is not still completely cool, so I'm actually just going to let it sit a little bit longer. It says four to five hours is usually how long it takes, but it just says to do it until it's like cool. So I think just because it's such a thick item, it stayed warmer longer. But anyway, it's definitely gross. I'm pretty satisfied. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer and then um, I'm really curious to see when I lift it up what the water does. And yeah. All right, I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, this is about five and a half hours in now, and I finally feel like it's cool enough that I can take this out. Um, so I'm just gonna try to move this and kind of see like, I just wanna see what the water looks like. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Ew, look at it compared to the white. That is so gross. It's so gross, especially because I washed this in the washing machine last week. Because this, I mean, they definitely got it dirty for sure, but again, I washed this in the washing machine last week, so that's gross. Definitely got a lot out. Ugh. Look how brilliant white it is! 
It looks so good. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I have never done it on anything that has been so stark white. It's always just been on like colored towels or things that they felt way better. I could tell they looked better. The fabric seemed different, but this is like the most... I don't know, the most drastic, I guess I would say. Um, these pillows had so many dirty paw prints on them because my dog loves this pillow. <laughs> um, it is like her pillow. Every time it goes off our bed at night, she jumps on one of these, loves it. And so it had gotten so dirty, and they are just, like, brilliant, perfectly white. I used no stain remover at all. I really feel like this is giving it a weird kind of yellowish tint on the camera which is really bothering me because it looks so stark white in person but you guys can see there were so many stains on this pillow and there's none now so definitely gotta try this I will be doing this very often I am so thrilled yay